I have a, a quite unique job, and so I'll meet people, and I'll tell them I'm a veterinarian, and they identify that. They say, oh, because they've taken their dog or cat in to see a veterinarian. They say, well, I'm, I'm a swine-only veterinarian. They'll be like, that's really specific. I was definitely drawn to them really early on and, and have continued to work with them and really look forward to looking at the pigs every single day. Our clinic covers southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. Probably 60 to 70 percent of my work is probably within 70 miles of here, but I still travel to South Dakota every month and I will do work internationally. I've worked in probably six to eight different countries and, and have held licenses in six or seven different states. Uh, this is my family's farm. Um, it's actually owned by my dad and my brother. I'm here with uh, my dad, so he's the one that got me started as far as into uh, ra working with animals. I'm, I've always been proud to say that I've raised animals all my life. And uh, start, I started out with chickens when I was about 10 years old, you know, and uh, you, you treat them because they treat you well. Uh, my family raised pigs, beef cattle, and even dairy, and were crop farmers. My brother always knew he wanted to come back to the farm. Um, and I thought, I want to come back to a rural community too, but I knew he was going to be the farmer, so how could I fit into that equation was, was one main major thing, and I really enjoyed sciences, so it just made a lot of sense. We, I can call him and ask him a question, and, and uh, it's not like I'm calling a consulting vet, I'm calling a consulting vet and my son. What, what I work with in my practice mostly would be pigs that are bred and made to make a market animal or to make pork with. I'm a big pork promoter and eating a lot more of it, and so I want it to be as healthy as possible. The way I know that to be healthy is if the pigs are healthy from start to finish. I will get stopped in a grocery setting asking about pork, you know, how is it raised now? And, and I'll tell them it's actually way healthier, way safer, way more controlled than it was then. We're coming up on one of the finishing barns that uh, my dad and brother work with, and so my brother takes care of the pigs in this barn, and uh, so we're going to step in and look at those pigs. The facility that we've designed and that we've got these pigs in is one that allows us to control the environment so that they have the best environment they can have with the right temperature and the right air. The other thing is it allows us to feed the pigs and get the right feed to the right pig every day. So the corn is grown right, right here in the fields around us, and all the corn for the pigs would come from the local area. Um, you know, it is already balanced for the right vitamins, minerals, uh, carbohydrates. Farrowing feed is just going like crazy. Well, they're doing well, that's for sure. Did you see, did you see them take off even more with the new corn? They're probably 10 pounds heavier in the same frame. Because of the new corn, and just, yeah. everything's pushed forward. As a veterinarian, I think one of the things I'm most proud of would be um, the way that we are watching out for the animals. We're the guardian of the welfare of the animals first and foremost and, and understanding how to make them healthy and happy. You know, we have to speak for them because they, they can't speak for themselves. So I, I take that pretty seriously. So we have healthier animals today than we've ever had and more productive animals today than we've ever had. And I feel safer food safer pork for people to eat than we've ever had.